Hello everyone and welcome back to Answers Excel Academy. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make this dashboard on Power BI from data that we've collected from Microsoft Excel. I'll be showing you how to take the data from Microsoft Excel, upload it onto Power BI, and then to make connections between different spreadsheets within your Excel workbook and generate data insights and make these visualizations on Power BI. So let's get right to the video. So here's my Excel file. As you can see, this file consists of multiple spreadsheets. We have sales data, customer data, product data, inventory data, and regional data. So what I'd like to do is to take this entire Excel file, which has already been cleansed. And as you can see, all data is in table format and put it into Power BI and get some visuals going. So in specific, I want to be able to generate some charts that show me how we are doing in terms of our sales. So let's show you how we can upload the data into Power BI and create this chart. Okay, so now Power BI is open and what I'll do is I'll go into my Excel file and I'll close it because I won't be able to upload this into Power BI if it is open in the background. So I'm going to select my data source, which is an Excel workbook. And I'm going to go ahead and find that workbook uh, within my documents as well. And I'll just open that up. All right, so now it's giving me an option to select which tables or which spreadsheets I want. So in my case, I haven't named the table. So as you can see, the tables are called table one, two, three, four, five. Um, however, uh, what I can do is I can simply go by spreadsheet name. So remember, each table has its own spreadsheet. So because of that, we had five spreadsheets. So I'm just going to check off each of these five spreadsheets and we can actually see the preview as well. So this is how one of my tables looked like and I'm going to go ahead and load this. Now I can transform the data and we've shown in Power Query in my previous videos how you can clean data before you take it into Power Query. So similarly, you can transform this and clean this before taking this into Power BI as well. Uh, in our case, however, uh, all the data is clean, so I can simply go ahead and load it in. All right, so as you can see now, all five tables have been loaded in. It did take some time for me because some of my uh, tables had over a thousand rows. Um, but now you can see that for each uh, spreadsheet, we have different columns, right? So if I open up my Excel file here, um, I'll show you that how this data is being translated into Power BI so that you can get a better idea as well. So as you can see, for example, for sales data, this is a unique spreadsheet within the Excel workbook and it has these columns, right? So if we go into our uh, sales data within here, you can see it has the date, product category, name, region, and all of these are found over here as well. Product category, region is there product name is there. So what it's doing is it's pulling these columns uh, into Power BI. And what's interesting is that while it's doing so for the uh, quantitative columns, it's also running operations on it. So for example, for units sold, unit price, total sales and profit margin, we can also go ahead and average this or sum this in Power BI as well. So as you can see over here, we have the sum of profit margin, some of total sales, unit price, and some of total sold as well. Um, and we're going to be using this information as we make our visuals as well. Now, the first chart I want to actually make is the sum of GDP by region. And the reason I want to make this is because my assumption is that those regions with the higher GDP will actually have higher sales as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's actually make the chart. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into my regional data here and we have GDP right over here and I'm going to go ahead and select that and I'm also going to select uh, region. OK, and after that, I'm going to select the funnel chart. OK, and I'm going to take my GDP here and drag it down to the values. And as you can see right now, we're getting a count of GDP by region. And we want to change this to sum of GDP uh, because if you look in our data here, we have the total GDP by region. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to go into here 
and select sum. And as you can see, we're getting a sum of GDP by region. And as you can see, the North region has the highest GDP. Now, my presumption is that if the North region has the highest GDP, uh, it should also have, have the highest amount of sales for our business. So let's find out if that's true. And let's make a bar chart that shows us the total sales by region. OK, so I'm going to click outside of this existing chart just so that we can deactivate it. And now I'm going to go ahead into my sales data and I'm going to pull out the sum of total sales and I'm also going to select the region. OK, and automatically we're getting sum of total sales by region. And as you can see that indeed the north region has the highest amount of sales and we can see why as well. Now, the next thing I'd like to do is I'd like to uh, do some research on who my customers are in terms of their demographics. So I would like to see the customer gender and the total spend by gender to see which gender buys our products the most. OK, so we're going to go ahead, click outside the box once again. And I'm going to go into customer data this time and I'm going to select gender. OK, and I'm going to select total spend as well. And after this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a donut chart. And as you can see that we have a good mix, a equivalent distribution between uh, different genders who actually purchase from us as well. Now, having this information, we can craft better marketing strategies as well. Now, the next thing I'd like to do is I'm going to make a number card and that should show me the total amount of sales that I've made throughout the year because this Excel file is actually for the entire year. So for the year of 2024. So I want to see during that year how many how much dollar amount of total sales did I make? So I'm going to go ahead, click outside the box once again, and I'm going to select a card. And after that, in that card, I'm going to go ahead back into the sales data and I'm going to select total sales, sum of total sales. And as you can see, our sum of total sales is one million. And, and I can go ahead and kind of change where I want this to be as well. And after that, I'm going to make another chart. Now, this chart is actually going to show me the sum of total sales by the time. OK, so I want to see on what days, on what months are we performing the best? OK, and as I explained, this this Excel file is for one year. So the data collected is for the year of 2024. So what we can do is we can either filter by day, by month or by quarter. Now, if we filter by day, it's going to become very granular. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter by quarter and by month. So I'm going to go ahead um, and I will go into sales data once again and total sales and date. And I'm going to add a uh, line chart. And as you can see, if I close this here, we can see our total sales by year, quarter, month and day. Uh, so I only want it by our quarter and month. So I'm going to remove year because this data is for only one year and I'm going to remove day as well. And as you can see, we can get this now this this chart is uh, needs a lot of horizontal space. So what I'll do is I'm going to remove I'm going to move these uh, other charts a little bit out of the way just so we have some space and I'm going to put this horizontally across the bottom just so that it's a little bit easier to see to visualize and then I'm going to put our other chart back into place right over here. OK, now the last thing I'd like to do is I'd like to filter my entire Power BI dashboard uh, based on the region and the product category. So what I mean is if you look at our Excel file uh, for product data, we had two product categories. The first is clothing and number two is accessories. So all of our products fall into these one of these two categories. And for region, we had uh, four regions, north, south, east and west. 
So in my Power BI dashboard, I want to be able to filter the entire dashboard based on which region and also based on any uh, product category. So for example, if I'm looking for uh, the East and I'm looking for uh, clothing, then I can select those two, clothing for East region, and the entire Power BI dashboard would filter based on that as well. So in order to do that, we need to add slicers. So I'm going to go ahead into visualization once again, and I'm going to click on slicer here, and I will add a slicer. Now the first slicer is going to be for our product category within the sales data. So I'll just select that. And as you can see, we can select from any of the two uh, categories. And let's say we're looking for clothing. Well, now our entire sales data refreshes and shows me only uh, how we're performing for the clothing category. Okay. So as you can see, we had total sales of uh, just over 500,000 for the clothing category. Now we can do the same for uh, accessories and we get a different different numbers here. Now I'd like to also add a slicer for the regions. So I'll go back into uh, visualization and I'm going to remember to click outside the box so I can deactivate this box and I'll go back to slicers and here's the slicer. Now for this slicer, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into regional data and select region. And as you can see, we have all four regions right over here. And I'm going to go ahead and drag that somewhere within my dashboard as well. And I'm going to go ahead and fit my dashboard to my page so I can see the entire dashboard. And there we have it. So now I can go ahead and let's say I'm looking for, for example, uh, our West region and our clothing category. So I can select West and I can select clothing. And this is how we did for that specific category in that specific region. So that's how you can take your Excel data um, and you can load it into Power BI and generate these visualizations. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please do drop a like, subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.